Does walking barefoot have genuine factual benefits? Or is it just the latest fad? I'll explore the science behind this trend in a second. But before we begin, remember to like this video and subscribe to the Fitness D channel for more science-backed videos just like this. Let's dive in with this question. Where did it all come from? The health and fitness community started talking about how babies and toddlers benefit from walking barefoot. This improves their proprioception, meaning how they can hold their balance. If you've ever seen a baby trying to walk, you know how easily they fall, especially when wearing shoes. Plus, some people started remembering how we humans didn't always wear shoes. In fact, some tribes still don't and can walk, run, crouch, or jump just fine. And there was a huge return to the natural life cultural shift that simultaneously started a few years ago. In this context, fitness experts, therapists, and regular people started asking themselves about the actual benefits of walking barefoot. Now that you understand this, it's time for the science. The science of barefoot walking. Let's just start with this caveat. The science of barefoot walking is still evolving and individual experiences can vary widely based on personal health, history, and environmental factors. So take everything I'll discuss after this with a grain of salt and use what fits. One, walking barefoot should improve natural gait and posture. A 1987 study found that walking or running barefoot can lead to adaptations that reduce the risk of chronic injuries largely due to the more natural gait and posture adopted. The scientists found that barefoot populations suffer fewer foot injuries than shod ones. One possible explanation is that walking barefoot strengthens the medial longitudinal arch of the foot. This prevents foot rigidity and keeps people from getting hurt. Plus, wearing shoes desensitizes this arch from pain. Therefore, shod people don't feel pain when straining their feet running. So, they aggravate that strain, which translates into a more massive injury. The scientists followed that chain of reasoning to find that wearing shoes desensitizes this foot arch because shoes make you adopt an unnatural position. Conversely, walking barefoot reestablishes your natural gait and posture. One study actually proved it by numbing its participants' feet with ice. Long story short, people with numb feet walk weirdly because they receive less feedback from the ground. The authors conclude that, quote, altering sensory input by changing shoe, orthotic, and or surface constructions may be a method by which abnormal gait patterns can be treated. Therefore, if you walk barefoot or wear minimalist shoes, you can improve your posture. 2. Walking barefoot should strengthen your foot muscles. According to a 2019 study published in Clinical Biomechanics, people wearing minimal shoes are more stable when standing, walking, and running than those wearing typical shoes. Besides, people with minimal footwear completed timed up and go tests faster than the control group. And if it's true for minimal shoes, it's also true for walking barefoot. The reason may be that wearing minimalist shoes or walking barefoot activates smaller and larger muscles intersecting the ankle joint, thus increasing foot strength. As a result, you develop a more robust foot structure. But there's a contradicting study dating back to 2010. This paper suggests that specific balance and muscle strengthening exercises might be more effective than barefoot walking in building foot muscle strength. So instead of walking barefoot or wearing minimalist shoes, you can consider mobility, resistance, and functional training. Three, walking barefoot enhances proprioception and sensory feedback. Most of the science I've read agrees with this point. Walking barefoot puts you in contact with the entire array of sensory stimuli in your environment. So, Letting your soles be in contact with the ground improves sensory feedback, and that improves your proprioception. Basically, it makes you more aware of your surroundings, and that lets you hold your balance better. That's why the 2019 study in clinical biomechanics found that older people wearing minimalist shoes are more stable and less prone to falls. The leap of deduction is that having more foot sensation leads to positive changes in your gait. And we already discussed the studies behind this in the first section but take this with a grain of salt. You don't want too much sensory feedback. If you're jumping or running on a hard surface, like concrete, you still need ergonomic shoes with a thicker sole. Four, walking barefoot may reduce the risk of foot deformities. A 1992 study on 2,300 children published in the Journal of Bone and Joint Surgery identified a correlation between shoe wearing and an increased prevalence of flat feet among children. 
The study authors analyzed static footprints of 2,300 children between the ages of 4 and 13. The incidence of flat feet among shod children was 8.6%, but only 2.8% in those who did not. This study also found this happened across all age groups, particularly in children with generalized ligament laxity, meaning very flexible joints. And more interestingly, children wearing closed-toe shoes are more at risk of flat feet. Those wearing sandals or slippers had a lower prevalence of flat feet. And of course, those walking barefoot had the lowest trouble of all. To quote the authors, shoe wearing in early childhood is detrimental to the development of a normal longitudinal arch. The same findings are also true in adults. One study compared a population of habitually barefoot walkers from India, a habitually shod Indian control group, and a Western population. Why? Because the habitually shod Indian control group wore less constricting shoes and did so less often than the Western population. Here's what the research found. First, barefoot walkers had wider feet and more equally distributed peat pressures. Conversely, the Western participants had relatively short and slender feet, with more focal and intense peak pressures at the heel, metatarsals, and hallux. These changes in foot structure and pressure points affect your foot shape and function. Basically, you're more at risk of getting flat feet, injuries, and pain. 5. Walking barefoot improves range of motion. All the benefits above translate into another advantage for walking barefoot. You can improve your range of motion in your feet and ankles. As a result, you reduce your risk of injury and chronic pain. How does that work? First, barefoot walking promotes natural foot mechanics, whereas shoes, especially those with restrictive designs, can limit the foot's ability to move and adapt to the ground beneath it. Without these restrictions, the joints of your feet and ankles can move more freely and through a broader range. Plus, you get more muscle activation. Walking barefoot encourages the smaller muscles in the feet to activate and work more than they would inside a shoe. This can lead to stronger supporting structures around the joints, improving joint flexibility and function over time. And let's not forget that walking barefoot increases your proprioception. And if you're more aware of your surroundings, you have better coordination and movement. This means you're not restricting your natural movements, instead, you're enjoying a fuller and more natural range of motion in the foot and ankle joints. Then there are the studies showcasing that walking barefoot promotes a natural arch. This natural arch can flex and move more freely, promoting better joint movement. That means you gain more range of motion and flexibility. While walking barefoot has benefits, you still need to adapt slowly. It's not best to start running or jumping barefoot from day one. And if you have specific ankle or joint problems, you should still ask your doctor about the right type of footwear. So, what do you think? Will you try barefoot walking or do you prefer sticking to your shoes? Let's talk more in the comments, but before we do, remember to like this video and subscribe to the Fitness D channel for more quality content.